Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome to Farmer's Dynasty. Now a lot of you have been asking me to play this game, so I thought, why not? We'll get it installed, we'll take a look, and we'll see what we can do. So, I've kind of altered the sounds a little bit, I don't know if it's going to work. I've no idea if I can actually have this music on in the background or not. A lot of games, the music is done separately and then it's copyrighted and you can't use it in a YouTube video. I'm going to take a risk and I'm going to let this first one go. If I get a monetization, if I get like a, a claim against, a copyright claim against it, I'll obviously remove the music in future versions. So we'll go straight into new game and we'll see what we can find out. I've been hearing a lot of good things about this game. I've deliberately avoided watching any videos, watching anything about this game. Purely because I know enough about farming and I know enough about farming games that I'm kind of hoping that I can figure it out as I go along and it won't spoil the surprise for me. I'd I, I'm really hoping that this game lives up to the hype. A lot of people have been telling me I need to play this game. I've had so many requests for this, so I'm really looking forward to taking a good look at it. Right, new quest introduction. Talk to Oliver. Since your grandfather passed away, he keeps an eye on your farm. And I didn't see the rest of it, so... There's Oliver over there. Hello. I'm your neighbor. My name's Oliver. I've been looking after this farm since your grandfather passed away. Okay. Nice to meet you, Oliver. I appreciate your help. So this is my heritage? Yes. This nice farm and piece of land are all yours now. Welcome to our little county. Thanks. I don't know much about farming, but I'm a quick learner. I'm sure you'll fit in just fine. We're all good folk living here, and we help each other out. Please follow me. I'll show you around. Okay. Come on. Um, uh, check map for updated objectives. Follow Oliver around your farm. I'm hoping that you can hear their voices okay. If um, Obviously, I will need to be changing some settings and everything. I think I might just do that in a minute. I've uh, stuck the voice volume up a little bit. Hopefully that will make life a little bit easier for you. As you can you. see, the farm is quite in a poor shape. Few repairs have been done here. I did go and look up to see here's if we were going to have... Let me just let The roof finish needs talking. work, but you can have some sleep here, perhaps. Or even you will have to bring this farm to a good shape yourself. Soon you'll see how to do it. Okay. Follow me. Love to. I'm going to have a look around here first. Let's see what else we can see. So can we run? Yes, we can run. Um, yes, there will be mod support coming to this game later this year. From what I've read and uh, found out on the various different forums and that, they will be adding mod support. I think it's going to be done through Steam, but there may also be mod support added outside of the game. So it... I mean, if the game does prove stable and it proves sort of good enough, this one, of all the farming simulated games I've seen so far, this one does actually look to be the most serious contender to Farming Simulator. Now, I know the Cattle and Crops has been touted as being a wonderful, amazing game that is going to take on Farming Simulator, but so far I have seen very little that's actually impressed me from the Cattle and Crops. So, um... Yeah, well, we'll see how this one does. This one, I do actually believe, could be a serious contender for Here's it. Here's the garage for your vehicles. It's empty now, but I'm sure you'll need it pretty soon. Your grandpa didn't finish the upper floor. But if you can afford building materials, then you can fix the construction yourself. Ideal. So we can build a bigger garage in there and... See, our house needs a little bit of work doing to it. And there's a whole load of new ideas that this game has got that you haven't seen in Farming Simulator. Um, and, you know, generally all the way around, you've just got this state of disrepair and you need to build it all up. And that's another thing that I'm particularly loving about this. this it's a is fresh concept. Empty for now, but you can use it to store hay for your animals. Just fix these holes first or everything will get wet and rot. Your grandfather's old animals have all been sold. You will have to buy your own. Okay. Uh, we got a nice big stinking heap of manure here. We can jump up and down on it. Uh, is, is that squelching? I got feel. Hang on. is old and needs some work, but it's still solid. You can do the fixes and upgrades yourself. Try fixing those holes first. 
I see you've come prepared and have your own tools. Good. Try to fix these doors since it's stuck and won't open. Okay. Oh no, I was thinking that maybe it was like squelchy underfoot if you jumped up and down on the heap of manure over there. Uh, apparently that doesn't actually work. Let's just take a look at the map and sort of get a little bit of an idea of the, the whole place. Um, it does. It looks like a reasonable size. We got a, we got a bit of land here. We, we do have a bit a decent size area that we'll be able to work through. Um, what's this? Field info owner. I see. 1.5, 1.4 hectares, 2 hectares over there. That one down there is 7.5 hectares. So, I mean, they're not huge fields, but I mean, this is still early access, this game. And like I say, I genuinely believe this could be a serious contender for Farming Simulator. We can have a game here that will provide different aspects of gameplay that we don't see in Farming Simulator. And it does seem to do so in a reasonable way. Yeah, quite a reasonable way. It does do so in a good manner. Let's let's take a look, see how we do the building now. Um, right, well, yeah, I've got the arrow going crazy over here. How, how do we actually do this? Uh, right, so I can... Oh, I see. You can zoom in on something, but how do you use it? It's got to be a way to you. Well, he's, yeah, he's telling me to do stuff. Um, L, no. Mouse button, no. Can I zoom out? You can't zoom out and see your own character. Right. Okay, so you use the left mouse button to do stuff, but it's not letting me do that. You need to go to tab, and then you can go to your build. You've got your build option, I think, so I can eat an apple. Have I seriously got to... <laughs> oh, that is brilliant! You've got to have food and sleep in this one. Okay, so it's, it's almost like, like a survival-type game, um, you, where you've at least got those um, items in there. So we've uh, if I go into here, I've got free... Ah, I see. Free hands, no tools. Repair, so I can go into this one, and then I think then if I come out of tab, I press. There we go. Repair old wood planks. That's brilliant. Ha <laughs> ha! It's actually working. I'm I'm actually doing repairing. All right. It should open now. He doesn't sound very impressed. He doesn't sound very impressed with me come at all. Come on. Go on. Open. Open. Activate. Uh, I think, oh, um, engineer's site, RMB, ah, I see, your animals live here, cows owned, so it's, yeah, it's almost got a, um, it's kind of like a survival type thing, I don't want to say survival, because it's, you know, survival seems like the wrong word, but you do have to sleep, and you do have to eat food, which is just fantastic, I love that, it's an extra dimension to the game, it's just brilliant, I re I'm really impressed with this, there we go, we can open up, take a look around, our very own cow barn. It could do a cleaning out. Could definitely do a cleaning out. And the cubicles are looking a bit ropey. Um, you know, I haven't actually seen cubicles like that in a very, very long time. We've actually got a space in between them. Um, I think I've seen it once where they've got a space in between them. Almost, you know, every cubicle I've ever seen has literally just been like a bar up in between. So there's no gap in between them because you don't really need a gap. It's kind of wasted space. Uh, the only time you'd want it is if the cows spend all their time in the barn and, you know, they live chained into one area. And there are very few places that actually still do that. It used to be the way things were done, but not anymore. Build a scaffold to climb up there and check the roof. Up where? Oh, on here. Uh, it's, it's a long way up. It might, I might get really scared up there. Right, so we go um, on the here and then we go to repair. Scaffold. Ah, you, so we've got a new option in here. So we go to the scaffold there, and then... Right, so we can put that one down there. I can I kind of move over. I can put it anywhere I want, really. Right, I'm going to put that one there. And that's all up and done. So let me just go back from scaffold. I want to go free hands. Like that. Now what? Let me get up onto the roof. Climb up there. And it's actually like a proper entity. You don't just get to the bottom of it and, um, and then go, because that's what some places is like, some things is like. This one is actually a proper entity. You can get right up and you can use it. How that is it is... looking up there? Come back down when you're done. We need can... to go. Can I jump? That is a very Follow old me. harrow down there. That's a very old one. It's like an old horse-drawn one, that is. What happens if I jump? Do I get hurt? Apparently not. You can throw yourself off a two-story building. That's fantastic. 
But yeah, that one right there, that is the sort of thing that they used to actually have. That was old horse-drawn stuff, that is. I mean, that one might be a tad heavier than the standard horse-drawn, but those harrows are rather ancient. I'm hoping that that is actually something that we get to use in the game, because that would be very cool. You can cool. store harvested grains in the silo, so you can use these later, or sell them if you want. Before you use the silo, remember to fix it first. Yeah, that does look a bit ropey at the moment. A bit of work to do on there. I really like the way that they're doing the tutorial. I know that this is obviously not going to appeal to everybody, this type of tutorial, but it's different. And, and that's what I'm really loving about what I've seen so far from this game, is it's different. It's same... Take a look at the greenhouse. You can grow some veggies here fast to earn some quick money. Still... You'll have to fix these holes so your plants can grow to a best effect. I'm sensing an overall theme of you can do anything you want here, but you're going to have to fix it first. You can do what you want with this one. You're going to have to fix it first. Um, so, yes, the overall, this is still a farming simulator game. Um, it's not the farming simulator, obviously. That one is, um, is the farming simulator that we play so much of. But this is a farming simulator game, and I'm really loving this fresh approach um, a different way of doing things and like I said I've seen some of the other ones I've seen some of the new titles that have yet to come out I've seen like their demos and that and a lot of them seem to just be copying the farming simulator whereas this one I've not seen anything yet that is copying farming simulator this is all original content I see your grandfather bought some materials to fix it already you can use it to rebuild the greenhouse as good as you can Use the sheets to fix at least the greenhouse door. Okay, so we want to fix this one over here. How do you use the sheets to do this? Is, do they just, like, get delivered next to a building? There's only one way to find out. We go free hands, we go repair, rebuild, metal times 20. I see, right. So we've got another option on here. So I go to that one, and it is this one here that I want to rebuild. Fantastic. Uh, rebuild rusty metal with metal. Ideal. All right, I can do it again. So you slowly use up the pieces just on, on these. Two. I don't want to use it all at the moment. I'm going to... We've got 24 left. I'm going to go back to no hands. I'm going to open and activate. So we've got a whole load of stuff that we want to do in here and sort of rebuild, repair, replace stuff. This is brilliant. What's he got to say now? You're pretty good at this. I'm sure you'll do well on this farm. Actually, I might have a job for you myself. Hmm, what is it? Why don't you come to my place and do some fixes to my barn? It's mostly roof that needs work, but some walls need attention too. I don't have much money, but I'll give you my old tractor as a reward. I'm sure you can use it. Okay, um, sounds good, I'll take care of this. Really, you've got a farmer who's paying you with one of his tractors. That's a new, that's a new one on me, but still, I'll, I'll go good. for it. I'll take care of this. Yep, we, we get a new tractor out of this, so that, that sounds good All to me. Right. right, help, Oliver. I'm going back home now. Good luck, and see you around. Go to Oliver's farm, fix his barn. Use your engineer's site, right mouse button or Y for pad. Uh, to see which parts of barn require work, check the map for updates. Right, so we go here. We've then got, uh, well, we're over here. This is home sweet home over here, and this is us. Um, reward 20,000 social points. This quest is being followed now. Completely renew your farm, right? And then we got over, oh, this is Oliver's place over here. So go to church. Going to church sometimes can be a good idea. You will be considered more social. I didn't think that the main purpose of going to church was to be considered social, but, um, yeah. We, we won't comment on that. Uh, Oliver, go to Oliver's farm and fix his barn. Reward Jack, Bear, C, and 100 social points. And then field info, owner, NA. Right, so we get 1,000 social points. Well, we got a 1,000 social points, I think, and 500. You receive 1,000 1, social points. Check map for update. Okay. Um, so his farm is up over there, and then we've got our bit over here. We've got another quest. We've got an arrow pointing us over here, so I think we want to head over this way. What's this one? I'm not actually sure what that is. Uh, we go here to Central Point. W why is this sending me over here? I have no idea. Let's go tab. 
see what it does nope we've got food sleep um tomorrow day after tomorrow is both sunny and if i no i don't want to do that i want to go to map don't i so i want to go over to oliver's farm if i click there does it send me over or have i got to actually drive over i think it's that quest is active at the moment so um i genuinely don't know what's going on here at the moment i don't know what that star is i think that's just like information about the map something like that um what about other things i've got map I know what I want to find out. I just wanted to see if there was actually a uh, quest log or something like that. So if I go to help Oliver there, that's that's how you do it. You click on a bit on the side and then it tells you what to do. So we need to go over to Oliver's farm and we're going to help him out. We're not going to be doing a huge amount more in this app. Actually, I, you know, we, can, we well, we can go to Oliver's farm and we can help him out. And we can see what we do over there. Um, we can also just sort of have a little bit of a run around and sort of see what we like. What are your first impressions of this game? What are you thinking about this game? What what are, what are your feelings? What are your thoughts? I want your just your first impressions. Um, first impressions do count. They do. They they are significant. Um, like my first impression, I've looked at cattle and crops at a couple of the demos, and my first impression is they're trying very hard to replace farming simulator that is my literally my first impression when i look at that game is they're trying to replace farming simulator that's what they want to do they seem to have set out to replace farming simulator they're trying to go for slightly more realism than farming simulator offers but in doing so i think that they've actually got poorer gameplay um that's my initial impression i know that some people are really impressed with it and prefer it to farming simulator itself and then there's other people who look at it and are not very impressed with it at all uh, i know there's been a lot of hype about it and yeah so far i'm unimpressed with that one i've seen some other games who i've looked at and i've thought well they're not trying to replace farming simulator but they are trying to imitate it and just sort of cash in on it this one here so far what i've seen is we haven't done any farming yet all we're doing is like building and stuff when we got the barns and we got all of the extra stuff like repairing a roof on your barn repairing your, your greenhouses and stuff like that this is all stuff that does actually happen in farming it's just that it's not happening at the moment in this it, it, it doesn't happen in farming simulator it does happen in farming all of it does actually happen in farming you get all of this stuff all the time um the only difference is in this game at the moment we do actually have this here Right, I got some scaffold there. If I come over, I can put another... Have I got to go scaffold all the way around? I don't want to do that. Ah, there we go. We got the ladder, right? That's what I want. Is All I want is a ladder. If I can get that one set. So then I can go onto here. I want to go repair now. And climb up my scaffolding up here. I can go... Oh, there. And we go up the ladder bit. And we go up to there. And then I can go onto the roof. So I can go on here. And now I want to... Left mouse button. Repair old planks. The only thing I don't like is I can't um, zoom out. I want to be able to zoom out. Oh, hang on. No, isn't it? Um, is it C? No. Right. C is actually change the camera. You do actually use C to change the camera. It's just that you can't. You can't have a third person mode. You can only have a first person mode on this one, which is a little bit unfortunate. But I mean, I can live with that. I don't mind. Um, right. I'm busy repairing. And what we've actually got is there's some bits over the edge as well that I didn't realize when I was down over this side. I've still got more to repair over here. So let me keep going and repairing. Keep repairing. Where did I repair previously? I must have repaired some already, did I? I think I did. And right, that's done. So it's actually replaced the edge pieces as well all the way over. So like that piece is done quite a bit. That one's all finished. This one here, you've got to do it four times, basically. You just press it four times, and then it'll come through, and it'll um, do the different repair jobs. So you get a bit of animation. You've got to actually work on each section. It doesn't just do it instantly. You've got each section is, requires a little bit of extra work to be able to do it properly, um, and then finish the job off neat and tidy. Now, you probably wouldn't... I, it's even putting in the bits in underneath, um, or your struts and um, so on, under on the undersides, uh, before it starts putting the actual finishing timbers over the top of it, which is just brilliant. It's, it's, there is a lovely attention to detail on this. It is absolutely fantastic. We're getting a whole aspect of actual farming that we've never played before. We've, we've never done this before. We haven't done this kind of aspect of farming 
in any of our other gameplay that we've done. Um, I've never repaired any sheds, I've never built any sheds, other than the slow bee pack where you did actually have to build a shed. Um, but yeah, other than that, we haven't really done anything like this before, have we? So we've got that piece on there, where is the next one going to go? It's sort of replacing some of those in the middle, I reckon, is it going to do anything at the bottom? No, it's just kind of renewing some of those in the middle there. So we can put some edge pieces down, and then that one up through there. It'll probably do some more. Yeah, it'll do some of those in the middle. Okay. Okay, I'm really, I'm really, really loving it. I'm, there is something about this. This is really, really appealing to me. This is fantastic. So I'm genuinely delighted. That yeah, Thank you very much for everybody who suggested that I should play this. I'm really pleased that you did. I'm actually actually really loving this. I know, obviously, we've got like some repetitive tasks, but you have that in every single game you ever play. Um, and you'd kind of expect it as well, because you, you've got to have something to be able to do. And I can't just sort of show constantly different things. You have repetitive gameplay in everything. Um, so, yeah, we do have to go around and we have to sort of spam, press the left mouse button in order to keep being able to do this. So I need to kind of just um, mouse over the old button, the bits down there, in order to be able to do this. Two more sections, and then we are done. We have replaced the roof. Here's another one. Replace that section up there. And the only thing that I'm disappointed about is that you can't actually zoom out and have a third-person mode on this in order to be able to finish it. If we had a third person mode, I'd be able to zoom out a bit further. I can sort of get an overall picture of the roof as we work on it. But that's okay. You know, it's, it's only a minor, minor detail. So I think we are now actually done. Engineer's sight. Use the engineer's sight was the thing that it said. Your, your right mouse button uses the engineer's sight and you can sort of look along. I think that's the whole roof is done. So let's go down through where we'll climb down the scaffold. We'll do this properly rather than throwing ourselves off the roof like we did last time. We'll, we'll, we'll do this properly and we're going to speak. So now we have a look around here. I don't see anything that's out of the ordinary there. So I'm going to go from there. I'm going to go into rebuild. I'm going to go to uh, free hands on here and I'm going to speak to Have Oliver. you finished your task? Yes, I have. Uh, have you finished your task? What do you mean, have I finished? Yes, I have. Look. You got a brand new roof here. What do you want? Okay, uh, maybe there's a bit that we haven't... Maybe there's a bit that we've missed. Repair. I'm looking with my engineer's sight. I don't see anything. Let's trot round to this side. It's all good. Maybe we got to remove this. You've got to remove the scaffold when you're finished. Is that another little detail that we've um, forgotten about? Let me go over to here and we'll take this one. And we go uh, scaffold here. So I got the scaffold there. And no, I don't want to do that. I can put scaffold everywhere. <laughs> this is brilliant. Uh, so how do you remove the scaffold? That's what we want to do. We want to take this one down now. No, I don't want to do it like that. So I want to go use to climb the building's um, free hands repair. Let's try that. And uh, no, if I right click, it doesn't do anything. Right click on that. It doesn't do anything either. There's got to be a way to remove this. Maybe I need to... Do I need to go inside? Oh, ooh, whoop, careful. Uh, right, I'm looking with my engineer's sight. I see nothing. Well, they, I got the barn here, but what was what did I need to do? Did I need to repair the roof, or was it all of it? Okay, repair the old air bricks here. And it is it's blocking them back up again. There we go. Right, so then if I use the engineer's sight, I'll go over and I'll do this side over here. Repair the old air bricks. Am I really bricking in the doorway? I don't think you wanted me to do that. Okay. Uh, I'm not really sure. What I, okay, I've blocked it. Oh, I see. Right. That's there. We go. He wanted me to. He wanted me to block in that. I thought it was just the roof that I was supposed to be doing, but it wasn't. It was the whole thing. Um, how to remove the scaffolding is the one bit that I'm not actually sure about. We go to, we got repair, we got rebuild, and then I got scaffold, and I got free hands. So if I go to free hands, I can't do anything there. Nope. Right, sca removing scaffold is something that we'll come back to at another time. Looking at least we only good got and up. solid. Thank you. Now, I don't have much money, but as promised, that old jack bear over there is all yours. What's a jack bear? It should do well until you can afford a real new tractor. But you can totally start field work now. You can totally start yep. it. My funds are kind of short, but I think I'll need more farming machines. 
You should talk to people. I'm sure a lot of them will have some work for you too. You'll need a plow, a cedar perhaps, and I've seen a cultivator already on your farm. Good luck with farming. I will look around. Thank you. These types of games really do make it seem so easy to go and do farming. They really do. You just waltz up to an old place, jump in and start raking in the cash. I'm not quite sure that it works like that. So this is a Jack Bear. I've never heard of Jack. Is Jack Bear an actual real tractor? Or is it just for this game? Right, I've got a uh, check map. Right, we've got cruise control, change camera. I've actually got my steering wheel on at the moment. Let's see if it works. Zero kilometers per hour. Uh, so apparently my steering wheel doesn't work at all. No. Yeah, my, my steering wheel doesn't work, which is, you know, it's great and all. Um, but yeah, I've, I've, so we'll be using keyboard. In our next episode, we'll use the keyboard. Now, I need to go home. Um, where's home? Is that home over there for me? I don't actually know where home is. Oh, it's 430. It's down that way, I think. I think that's the way we've got to go. I am loving this old tractor, mind. I'm genuinely loving this old tractor. This thing is awesome. The only thing I don't know about at the moment is, is there any kind of AI for working the fields, or do you have to literally do everything in the field yourselves? That is something that we'll find out in our next episode. Let me just press the map a minute. I am heading... Oh, no. Talk to the stranger. You notice a stranger by the road. He clearly has something he wants to talk to you about. Um, and this is... Well, that's where I am. And that's... Oh, Clara. No, I don't want to do that. I want to do that there. Home sweet home. Yeah, so I am I am on the right... I'm going the right way, I think. No, I need to come down here. I wanted to go out the other side, actually. I wanted to go down that way. Um, so we'll come over here. We'll... Actually, I'm going to stop up here, I think, and right with this tractor. I think this is an excellent point to stop just before we go back and we get stuck into another quest or anything like that. I really want to know your first impressions of this game. What do you think? Do you think this is a game you'd like to see me playing a lot more of? Um, is this really not the sort of thing for you? Um, I know that some people have said, I've heard people say in the past, that the idea of having something where you've got to eat food and you've got to sleep in a farming game is just absolutely no way. They'd never, ever play it, not for any reason. Um, but other people I know really like this whole um, extra... Um, sort of it's it is extra it's more realism you you gotta you gotta eat you gotta sleep you gotta do all of that and it's so it is more realism coming into it what is your thoughts on this game and how what how are you sort of feeling about this i'm going to be playing it some more um it's just i very much like to get first impressions it's, before we go any further, what, what are you thinking about this right now? That's that's re It is really important to me. I'm, I'm still going to play some more and we're going to really delve into the game in much more detail. But um, I'm, I'm loving this idea of hearing your initial impressions and whether you think that this game is already appealing to you is, or if it's something that you're sort of thinking, Whoa! Look at that! We've actually got like mud and everything forming on the ground. This is brilliant! There is so much detail in this game. This is seriously, there is a lot of detail in this game already, and it's it's just early access. It's literally, it's just early access. Is waiting for, um, you know, there's a whole load more stuff they've been doing optimizations and um, rendering optimizations and stuff like that. But there is a lot more content to come on this. And there's already so much in here. This is brilliant. Anyway, if you enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.